Hey, welcome back everyone to another great episode of Sell Those Flippin' Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we're going to go through the symptoms of bad fuel. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to another great episode. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode of Sell Those Flippin' Cars, we're going through the symptoms of bad fuel and how it can affect your vehicle while you're trying to drive it or operate it, whatever you want to call it. Hey, did you know fuel actually deteriorates from its octane level that you get from the pump starting 30 days after leaving the fuel pumps? I didn't know that until I started actually researching it and finding out that once oxygen actually you know comes in contact with the fuel your fuel actually starts to worsen in quality now of course you know octane levels are all over the place and this isn't a video about octane levels but a great way to actually keep that octane level working good for you is keeping your fuel injectors clean bad fuel or burning rich fuel can actually increase the carbon uh, buildup that goes on your valves and in your pistons, uh, cylinders on your pistons. My apologies. I know someone's going to say, oh, bruh, <laughs> you can't go in your pistons. It's a solid object. Yes, my bad. My apologies. Okay. Carbon buildup goes inside the cylinders on the piston heads. Did you ever notice that in older cars, a higher octane level will actually be better for that car? That's because octane levels back in the freaking 60s and 1920s and everything was a lot worse than what it is now, which means that the carbon buildup started accumulating on the piston heads and now it has a lower compression rate. Since it has a lower compression rate, it can burn the higher octane level fuel a lot better than our newer cars can, okay? But octane levels are a lot better now too. Besides the fact, bad fuel not only affects your fuel pump in your fuel tank, okay? But it also affects your engine. And the only thing in between your fuel pump and your engine is your fuel filter. Now on the 2003 Ford Taurus, your fuel filter is located under the passenger side door right in here. Ford actually recommends that every 30,000 miles the fuel filter is replaced. Now if you don't know where the fuel filter is or how to replace it on the 2003 Ford Taurus, I'm going to throw the link in the upper right hand corner, which is my left, your right, and that way you know how to replace it properly without breaking those stupid little white clips and your engine's going to thank you for it. The fuel filter stops all contaminants coming from your fuel tank. Now I know what you're thinking, uh, dude, I just threw in fuel, it should already be filtered. Yeah, it should, okay? But do you really want to take that chance? I wouldn't. So that fuel filter is there to actually pick out all the contaminants that are from the pump. I'm gonna put the fuel tank down, uh, fuel, fuel uh, canister down now. <laughs> All right. Not only the contaminants from, from the fuel pump itself, but from your fuel tank. Even if your fuel tank is metal, plastic, whatever, gasoline is a dissolve. It's uh, it dissolves things. It it uh, eats it away. Jeez, what's that word? What's that? What's that word? Oh, oh. If you think of that word, it's going to kill me for the rest of the day, but, you know, it eats away, okay, at your fuel tank, even if it's plastic. Let's say you're at half a tank of fuel, okay? There's the other half a tank of fuel that it will start building up precipitation, okay? Water from the fuel vapors. And when that happens, it actually starts deteriorating your fuel tank. And little specks of your fuel tank on the inside will start going into the fuel. That's why you need to make sure your fuel filter is clean at all times. So every 30,000 miles, make sure my glove ripped. I don't even know how it ripped. I was just standing here. But 
make sure that your fuel filter is switched out every 30,000 miles so you can keep those contaminants out of your engine. If you don't, that fuel filter won't be able to stop those little granules of dirt and dust and all that leading to your engine and that's how fuel injectors get clogged and your fuel economy becomes a lot worse because there was nothing to stop it from getting there. So, <clears throat> keeping your fuel filter good, okay, by not using bad fuel and, you know, replacing your fuel filter when you're supposed to is actually going to prevent you from having a lot bigger problems down the road which is always great, especially to your wallet, because to replace a fuel pump, okay, to replace a fuel pump can be $260 to $1,000, depending on the shop that you take it to, okay, that's for a fuel pump. For a fuel filter, I went ahead and left that price in the video for you, so make sure you check out that fuel filter replacement, because shockingly, it's quite expensive. Okay, and we're talking about one clamp and two white clips that are on your fuel filter. If you, you can replace those by yourself, you're going to save yourself $100, $200 easy. Okay, so make sure you actually keep those um, up to spec. That way your vehicle can continue running. Um, if, you're, if you're looking for any symptoms of bad fuel, stalling, uh, hard to start, rough idles, you know, those are key indications saying that you have bad fuel and you might want to get it checked just in case it is bad fuel, okay? Even if you just got it from the pump, it can still be bad fuel because some of those gas stations will actually, uh, they're not keeping water out entirely. And then there are some gas stations that are quite crooked as well and they'll put water in there to fill their tanks back up okay you got to watch that as well um, also if the area that you're fueling up is in a floodplain or they got a lot of rain lately don't fuel up there if you, you don't have to okay it's going to save yourself a lot of headache and extra wear and tear on your vehicle as well because when your vehicle has a rough idle due to bad fuel it's going to tear up your engine even more okay so there you go guys thank you for checking out another great episode i'm zachary and if this video is beneficial to you make sure you smash that subscribe button hit like i always love getting that love it just shows me that i'm doing a good job and i keep making those videos for you so thank you so much for checking the video out and until next time keep up <laughs> keep on wrenching guys i'll see you soon